Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My today's video is about finding the mood in a sample data in R. R program doesn't have any built-in function for calculating the mood. Although there is a built-in function called mood in R, but it doesn't calculate the mood that is the statistical mood. That built-in function just tells you whether the data is numeric or character, etc. So now let's see what is mood. The element that occurs most often in a collection in a sample data. That is called the mood. For example, we have a data like this where the frequency of 1, 2, 3 and 4 is only 1 while the frequency of 5 is 2. Because the frequency of 5 is higher than the frequency of all other elements, that's why the mood of this data would be 5. In the next example, we have a data where we have two moods, that is 2 and 5, because they both have two values in the data and all other elements have only one values. So the mood will be 2 and 5, and this kind of data is called bimodal data. In this example, we have two elements whose frequency is 1, and two other elements, that is 2 and 4, whose frequency is 2, and the frequency of 3 is 3. So the mood will be 3. Another example we have is 1 twice, 2 twice, 3 twice, 4 twice, and then single 5. So the mood will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And this kind of data is called multimodal data. As I told you in the beginning of the presentation, that R doesn't have any built-in function for finding such kind of statistical mood. It does have a statistical function for calculating mean and median, but not for mood. I also searched on internet and Google, but I didn't find any satisfying function that can calculate mood for us. That's why I wrote a function that can calculate mood for us in R. The code of that function is like this. You can copy this code from here into your R Studio editor and then you can run that code and then you can use it. The name of the function is arp.mood. So this was the whole code. You just have to type it in your R Studio editor and then just run it. So here is the dedication. This function is dedicated to Paul Aral, who was working in the lab in the Penn State University where I was conducting my PhD research work. She helped me in my experimentations. That's why I dedicate this function to her. So now let's try our function in R. First, you will have to open your R Studio and then you will have to open like R script. And then in the new R script editor, just type this whole code. I have typed it here. So this is the code. Then select the whole code. Holding control, press enter. Now your function is ready to be used. So let's use it. For example, we have a vector called V and the data in this V is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you can see in this data, the mood of this data is 1 because the frequency of 1 is higher than the frequency of all other elements. So just press enter. Now we have stored this data in the container V. Now if you press V, you will see this data. You can also type print V. You will see that same data. So now let's use our function that is arp.mood and then give the vector name that is v, er the data name or the container name and just press enter you will see the mood is 1. Now let's make another vector with the name like uh, Roshan and save a data here like c of 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here in this data, we have two modes. That is, this data is bimodal. Now press enter and now find the mode. So r dot mode Roshan. Roshan is the container name. Press enter. The mode is 1 and 2. Okay, now let's find the mood of a column in a data frame. For example, we have a data frame, a built-in data frame in R, which is called empty cars. This is a built-in data frame in R. 
this is the data there are several columns in this data so the first column is about mpg this these are the row names and here in the row names the row names represent different cars different vehicles and this is the mile per gallon of each vehicle these are the cylinders present in each vehicle so now let's find the mood of this cylinders data so how will you get this soil data out of this empty cars the method is the dollar method so empty cars and you will have to press dollar and then select this soil press enter this is the data in this column in empty cars data frame which contains like 664 etc etc now let's find the mood of this data so r dot mood empty cars dollar pick the column style out of this data and find the mood the mood is 8 as you can see in this data we have the frequency of 8 is greater than every other number some cars contain six cylinders some have four cylinders and other cars other vehicles have eight cylinders let's see the head of empty cars this is the head of empty car we have another column by name gear so now let's find the mood of gear how will you find this gear r dot mood empty cars dollar so don't forget to use the dollar sign dollar gear gear so what will be the mood? 3 is the mood of this gear. That, that is the frequency of 3 is higher than any other value in this column. So that was my function. Actually I had written this function last year but I didn't have time to make a video about that. So today I found some time and I am sharing this code with you. So thank you for watching my videos. Inshallah next time I will appear with more functions. So bye.